Thursday. Today is the 17th day of October. October. Thank you so much for joining me. My, if you're new here, my name is Mayor. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming. In half a mile, at the roundabout, take the second exit. Sorry about that. So I am headed to my dentist appointment. And then after that, I am going to continue studying for my exam today. It, civil procedure. And then that is all she wrote for today. I... um have some things that I'd love to, to discuss with you guys when I'm done with my appointment. So I'll see you guys a little bit later. See ya. Okay, I'm back from the dentist. Just got my teeth cleaned. I still want to bleach my teeth though because they're not as white as I want them to be. But I have been so... My schedule, my days have been so hectic that I haven't had a chance to go pull out my bleaching kit. But I got an A++ from my hygienist. She said, keep doing whatever it is you're doing, child. And I, and I shall. Um, so what I wanted to talk to y'all about today was concerning perfectionism. I think that as mothers, we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to get everything done in a short amount of time and to hold ourselves to a standard that is almost impossible to meet. I think that that comes from the mentality that everything is required of us in order to be considered a good mom. Everything meaning taking care of yourself, taking care of your kids, taking care of your house, taking care of your significant other. Um, a lot of times people will say, oh, you know, guys marry women who remind them of their mom because they're going to expect to be nurtured by her. And all the while you're thinking to yourself, yeah, I do want to be that nurturing person in my significant other's life. I do want to be the nurturer in my children's life. But I am also a person who requires nurturing. So it's not always a two-way street. When you are in a relationship, sometimes it's only just unilateral where you're giving, they're taking. And that goes for the, the significant other. That goes for the children. That goes for the job I mean of course you get paid at work but if you got paid what you were worth and let's be real let's keep it real if you got paid what you were worth they wouldn't be able to afford you so saying all that to say use mindfulness and use grace when dealing with yourself in this season. Works is so new. I call it emotional knowings, because what we receive is not so much thought of as known, and it just feels true and real. In this interweaving of your knowings is your aliveness and your unique way of perceiving the world. That brings us back to the psychological floor. Let's go a little more deeply into this metaphor now. Imagine that every moment of every day you are walking across a floor made up of tiles of different emotional knowings and rugs on top of that floor that are full of emotional knowings as well. Yep, it gets it complex in there. And since you've been walking on the floor your whole life, for the most part, you ignore it. It is in this floor that you will find all that you know about taking things personally, or not, how to set boundaries, and what would happen to you if you did. In this floor, you know how to stand up for yourself. If you can use your voice and your power, what power means, and what kindness feels like. There is nothing wrong with your psychological floor. It came to be because of real experiences you have had. Wanting to change it means you want to grow, not that something is wrong with you. I remember when you filled my heart with joy. Was I blind to the truth? Just there to feel the space, because now... You have no interest in anything 
that I have to say I've allowed you to make me feel I feel so dumb What kind of fool am I You so easily Set me aside So I got this from Walgreens. I got the Culturelle Women's Probiotics. And they're chewable. So I'm excited about that. Because I usually buy the ones that you have to take the capsules. And then I bought this liquid collagen. It was $7 at Walgreens. So it has no GMO, gluten-free, natural berry flavor. And it also has vitamin and C and biotin in it. So, and that's one tablespoon a day for collagen type one and type three. So, yeah, I'll let you guys know how it tastes and if I see any results. Okay, so this one tastes really good. It's very sweet. Like chew, uh, chewable. This one has to be refrigerated. It doesn't have a very appealing smell, but I'm I'm excited to taste it. I'm going to go downstairs and get a spoon. But yeah, this is how it looks. Say hi. Hi. What you eating? Uh, peanuts. Say cashews. Cashews. Honey roasted. Honey roasted. Is it yummy? No. Cool. Hey, you guys. So I am on my way home from class. We had an exam today in uh, civil procedure, and it went... I'm sorry, y'all, a little crooked. It went really well. I thought that it was going to be so difficult, but it turned out really good. Like, the questions were easier than I thought they were going to be. I pray that I did well and that I got an A on that exam <clears throat> so that I can try to make the dean's list this year. Um, so I'm really, I'm, I was really happy with the, sorry you guys, I'm driving downtown and if anybody been in downtown Nashville, the streets is raggedy. They're a little raggedy. They need a little bit of pothole filling. But um, at any rate, gosh, you guys are so crooked. Um, I'm headed home. It's 10 o'clock at night, my time. Um, I have to work tomorrow. So I'm hoping that when I get home, I can go straight to sleep. I was on the phone earlier with um, the sleep people and I was telling them, you know, I've been using my sleep machine every night for the past like month, it seems like, and I have no relief. Like I'm still tired. I still have to take a nap every single day. And it was like, yeah, it sounds like you got a leak in your machine. So try the new mask, try the new tubing and see if that helps. And I'm like, cool. So tonight I'm going to start my sleep therapy over with a new mask, new tubing, and hopefully, prayerfully, I will get the required amount of rest. I did try to have a talk with my son about catching a bus. You know, I try to list all the benefits of riding a bus with his friends, minus the cell phone. I didn't bring up the cell phone because I feel like he would have jumped on it. And I really don't want him to have a cell phone, to be honest. But it's like he's nine. Everybody he know got a cell phone. So I gave him my old cell phone so he could download Roblox and stuff like that. But long story short, he was just like, Mommy, I really look forward to spending that time with you. And of course, my little, my mom heart, my guilt, my mom guilt jumped on the, you know me. And I was like, wow, you know, it's worth the sacrifice. Get up at 630 in the morning to take my son. He even said, Mommy, I look forward to our prayer time. 
And I'm like, wow, that's deep. Because I didn't think, you know, he really cared about none of that. But I'm so grateful for my little Wes. And I'm going to continue to drive him to school. Even if I do join the gym, I'm going to continue to get up at 6.30 in the morning and drive him to school. So, it is what it is. So, I have made an executive decision that I would like to restart my membership. Planet Le Fitness. Gosh, I feel like such a quitter though. Like every time I restart my plan, I end up dropping it because I'm not consistent enough to make sense out of paying for a membership. And this place is open 24 seven. So I could literally go any time of the day or night. You know what I'm saying? So uh, here we go. Let's try this again. Take. 17. Credit card that we can have on bio as sure. well. Sure. I'll give you this back as well. Okay. For that, for your credit card, I will be your account number. Here you go. Yeah. This merch is so cool. Okay, guys. So I am now back at Planet Fitness. so excited i'm not gonna work out today because of course i don't have my workout clothes but i just want to give you guys a little preview of where my new home away from home will be on the days that i have to work because i'm already away from home and i don't get off work till 10 o'clock so i would just come i would just come straight to the gym and work out for like an hour but um so uh it's so nice here like so clean they keep the facility very 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 clean and like the only reason why i continuously quit is because i'm not consistent like it's so hard for me to be consistent it's i guess it's hard for everybody to be consistent so here i am take 12. um but yeah i'm here i'm here i'm here i'm here and we are gonna do this. We're gonna lose this 40 pounds. We are gonna meet our weight loss goal. And we are gonna feel great about it. Yeah, it is cold outside. It is freezing. Oh my goodness. I got on these thin pants, but at least I had the sense to put a sweater on, child. Now I have to go on Amazon. And order me some some cute workout gear because I feel like if I had some cute workout clothes that would make me even more excited about working out and maybe that would help me to stay focused and on track with my weight loss goals y'all I have been drinking my protein powder it tastes so good y'all it do not taste nothing like protein it and you know the flavor is just like Kool-Aid. It's so yummy. I'm telling you guys, if you haven't tried IsoPure, try it. It's at, it's at your local Walmart. Or you probably could order it on Amazon or whatever. But it's so good. And it's 20 grams of protein per serving. So, yes. But I'm, I'm thinking to myself, like, I'm doing this for me, right? Like, I'm joining the gym for me. I'm not joining the gym to try to, like, make my husband look at me or make guys look at me or make people think something about me. Like, I'm doing this for my own self. Like, I know when I work out, my mental health, my mental clarity is so fire. When I work out consistently, I have the best, best mental health. And so dealing with what I dealt with for the past two weeks was so cringeworthy. I was just like, dang, I gotta do something for me. I gotta do something for me. And like, you know how like society is constantly pushing this whole like self-care, self-care to try to like sell us on like things that we don't need. Like basically spending all our money on like makeup and hair and nails and 
all the shopping and all the things to try to like masquerade as self care when your internal self is what needs the care and that's for free and I know for a fact for me like doing mindfulness exercises and like going to the gym has done more for me than any external self care like as far as like hair, nails, makeup, all that stuff. I'm not saying that that doesn't have its place. It definitely has its proper place. But what if you get into a bind or a fix where you can't afford to maintain those things? Then what you supposed to do? Just go without and just struggle in life? Do something that you can actually like do for yourself. It doesn't require you to spend any money. Although a gym membership does require you to spend money, but I don't have the luxury of working out at home because my husband want me to go to sleep you know what I'm saying so at any rate all right you guys so I was gonna go home and wax but I'm not gonna wax tonight because it's already late because I spent like two hours at Planet's Fitness trying to register myself for uh well not two hours more like 45 minutes but because I spent that much time at Planet Fitness I'm just gonna go home take my medications you know my supplements or whatever and go to bed and i'll just wax tomorrow but i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog if you stay to the end could you please drop a heart in the comment and until we meet again may his peace be with you and yours bye i wanted to show you guys that my flowers are opening up my lilies they're opening up they're so pretty and this is what i'm eating for dinner this is a meal prep It's like chicken, mashed potatoes, green beans, and corn. I remember. To the truth, just there to feel the space. Cause now you have no interest in anything that I have to say. I've allowed you to make me feel, I feel so dumb. What kind of fool am I? so easily set me aside Thank you.